hello there. You know what? I've never really been uh, attracted or you know personally in, um, wanting a mini, uh, whether it's a classic one or one of these new ones. But uh, <laughs> I gotta say, this is a really nice car to drive. It has survived very well over the years. I love those retro toggle switches down there, and it just goes really, really well. Yes, this is one of Ken's toys. It's an R56, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and it's so nice. It feels, you know what? It feels like a little, a more luxurious go kart. It really does. And uh, it just, it, it feels cute to drive. I don't know how else to put it, but it does. It really, really does. Beautiful sunset today. It feels really cute. I love the fact that the tachometer is right here. And then I was like looking inside of it for okay, what's the speed I'm doing? Shit, man, this car doesn't have a speedometer. Boom! Right there. <laughs> a huge dinner plate speedometer right there. But you know what? I was looking like I thought I thought maybe these 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 numbers here. I've forgotten about this car. I mean it was launched a really long time ago. And I've forgotten about this car, but it has aged so well. You know why it has aged so well? Because they used retro styling when they when they were building this car. Look at that, look at the checkered flag stuff inside here. It's so nice, and this button that opens the, the um, glove box. Oh, it's lovely, this car is so cute. Yeah, I like it, I like it so much. And yes, this is something I would really consider buying. Look at that, it's even got flappy pedal stuff. So it's it's very quick. It's very very quick. Yes, um, and the cool thing is, it even feels fast. If even if you're doing just like you know 80, but the oh the acceleration is just God damn! Wow, yeah, for a little thing like this, I, I really like it. Yes, yes, yes. The check engine light is on. This is a rolling restoration by none other than Ken himself. See the clever gearbox, it actually downshifted for me as I was approaching this uh, as I was approaching this corner to give me some engine braking. So oh man, it's so lovely. Let me show you this car from the outside. Because this car from the outside is very, very nice. And you know what? Um, I've always said there's nothing mini about the, the new generation of minis, but I take that back for this car. I do, I take it back for this car because the outside. This is one of the uh, better in terms of uh, the way it looks, the way, oh nice E39 there. Um, the way it was designed, the way it looks, it's, it's a lot more, uh, how should I put it, faithful. Yeah, that's a nice word there. It's a lot more faithful to the original Mini by Sir Alec Isagonis. Yeah, but let me show you this car from the outside because it's, it's really, really nice. Yeah. Thank you, Mini. Yeah, you know why you know why I'm driving it? Yeah, no, not because you know I don't have any cars to drive, perish the thought. But uh, I left my phone at home. So Ken lent me his car to go home and get my phone. Yeah, that's how dependent we've become on uh... <laughs> Sorry Ken. But uh, no I didn't break this, I think it was loose already. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, that's how dependent we've become on <laughs> Of all the times for this to happen, uh, it happened now. Okay, Ken, Ken said it. it. <laughs> he knows, you know. So what was I saying? Yeah, um, I'm, we are so dependent on technology these days that yes, I actually had to go home to get my phone. Look at that. Mini Boost CD. There's a CD player here. I love these toggle switches that lock and unlock the doors. Um, this is this is the uh, power window, yeah. This is so nice. <laughs> I love this. You know what would make make it perfect? Look, the toggle switches are even up here. It would make it perfect if this was a drop the top. And yes, there are there are variants of this that are drop the top. I think, if I'm not mistaken. So nice. But let me show you what this car looks like from the outside. Oh, man, look at that. 
Look at that, it's big as my hand. Amazing, and here I was looking for the speed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How fast am I going? Uh? Boom, right there. Lovely. It saved about, about thousand plus. It should work out cheaper for me. Four thousand. Two one five, even more. It's worth for two hundred plus. Four hundred bucks of savings. And there it is. Look at those gorgeous horseshoe alloys. I love these alloys. Ken, don't ever change these alloys. They're damn nice. Perfect. Look at that. It's so so cool. Now this this is what I mean about the uh, being faithful to the original design. It is still, you can tell straight off the bat, it's a mini. Ken, this one is uh, the R56? Yeah, R56. Uh, turbo or supercharger? Turbo. Turbocharger. R56 turbocharge, and yes, it's very quick. Once the turbo spools up, it is super duper quick. Oh yeah. So, look at that. So, so nice. This is probably now gonna be my favorite new mini because um, I don't like the pace, man. I like the Countryman, but uh, in terms of faithfulness to the design of the original Mini, this, this has got to be it. This has got to be it. I love this little car. It is so, so damn cute. Let me just show you the inside from the... Look at that. Look at that. It's so nice. Yes, it's not a manual, of course. It's an automatic, but it's so fun to drive. Yeah. Yeah, the checkered flag thing goes all the way inside the car. So, so cool. So yeah, it's an official import. Auto Bavaria. Very, very nice. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this very quick uh, video review of the uh, R56 Mini from 2010, 2011, thereabouts. Super duper cool. Take care, folks. Thanks. Oh, I've got to show you from the front again. It's such a nice little car. Oh, look at that. Cooper S. Ken, it's a Cooper S, right? Yeah. Yes. Cooper S, baby. So nice.